Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel of Elite Expertise. So Elite Expertise uh, YouTube channel is a platform that helps the pharmacists to uh, get a lot of information, okay. like those who are planning to go to overseas, like to migrate to Australia, US, UK, Canada, or Ireland. Okay. So for them, we'll provide the complete information regarding how to uh, clear their licensing examination and so on. So uh, today's uh, my topic is regarding what are the main roles of the pharmacist here in Australia. Like most of the students, those who did their Form D or Bachelor of Pharmacy in India or in other countries. So they just keep on asking that uh, how a pharmacist uh, plays a major role in Australia or what are the different types of the pharmacist here in Australia, like the community pharmacist, hospital pharmacist, industrial and so on. So I'll just go through each uh, type of the pharmacist and our roles here. Okay. So at first, uh, I would like to present my slide, guys. So myself, my name is Arif Mohammad, and I'm a director and a lecturer here in Elite Expertise. So this is our uh, website, guys. So you can uh, have a look through our website. So Elite Expertise is a platform that helps all the overseas pharmacists to clear the licensing examinations. And if you are willing to migrate to Australia as a pharmacist, then it's a very good platform for you guys. And also, we not only provide the um, licensing examination for Australia, but also will do help for other countries as well, like for US, that is the NAPLEX, Canadian PEBC, uh, UK exam, Ireland, and so on. Okay. And this is about myself, guys. My name is Arif Mohammad, and I am a hospital uh, pharmacist. And currently, I'm an accredited consultant pharmacist. And right now, I'm working as a clinical pharmacist in Northern Health Hospital in Melbourne. So I would like to uh, share you guys regarding the different types of the pharmacist roles here in Australia. So the first one, the most uh, common one is the community pharmacist role. So like around 80%, more than 80% of the pharmacists here in Australia, they work in community pharmacies. So community pharmacists are the first line pharmacists uh, or the first line healthcare professionals, okay, those who play a major role in Australian healthcare system. Okay. So what happens here in community pharmacy is, so whenever the patient, they have any of the issues, like especially the primary healthcare problems. Okay. So at first, the patient, they approach to the community pharmacist rather than going to a GP. GP is the general practitioner or will tell them as a doctors because getting an appointment with a uh, GP or the doctors is a bit challenging here in Australia. So all the patients, like what will be the uh, primary health issues that they have, at first they will approach the community pharmacist. Okay. So these are the main roles that are played by the community pharmacist here in Australia. Like they provide the complete primary health care uh, advice. Okay. Like, for example, if the patient has any eczema problem or a scabies problem or those who have diarrhea, constipation, uh, conjunctivitis or any thrush issues, any of the issues. So at first, rather than going to a doctor, so all the patients, they prefer to go and see a pharmacist. So the pharmacist will provide a complete uh, education as well as they provide a complete information to the patient and they provide an appropriate medication based on their scope of practice. So if it is allowed within the scope of pharma, uh, within the scope of pharmacist practice, then the pharmacist will provide the complete um, uh, healthcare advice as well as they give some medication to the patient to uh, get rid of the problems. So that is the main role which is played by the community pharmacist. And community pharmacists are the first line uh, pharmacists, like they are the main person, those who dispense and uh, counsel the medications okay so whenever the patient they go and see the doctor after seeing the doctor they get the prescription from the doctor and straight away they go to the community pharmacy to get it filled okay so where the pharmacist they not only dispense the medications but also they will uh in case if there are any interventions then immediately they will find those interventions and they will contact or they liaise with the gps for example if there are any errors in the prescription then immediately the pharmacist will liaise with the GP. They'll contact the uh, doctor and they will tell that these are the issues which are associated with the uh, prescription and I'm not happy to fill this prescription. So, and they will ask the doctor to write another script for the patient. Okay. So in this way, 
um, a community pharmacist will play a major role in avoiding any sort of the medication related errors. And after dispensing the medication, the community pharmacist will provide the complete uh, education or the counseling regarding the medication, that how to use the medication and what are the precautions that they need to take and so on. And community pharmacists are also involved in providing the immunization services. So here in Australia, the pharmacists are allowed to give the vaccinations. Okay. So like all the pharmacists are not allowed, like they need to do a training. If they are uh, trained and if they are uh, certified, then they are allowed to give the vaccination. Okay. Especially they play a major role during the flu seasons. Okay. So every year, uh, all the Australian um, patients, like all the um, persons, like the, the kids or uh, the elders or um, any age group, it doesn't matter. So everyone should get the vaccine done. So community pharmacists will play a major role in giving the vaccinations. So COVID vaccinations, as well as there are a lot of uh, vaccines that the community pharmacists will give to the patients. And community pharmacists are also involved as diabetic and asthma educators. So they provide the complete education regarding the asthma, like how the puffers are to be used. And at the same time, they are also uh, like accredited diabetic educators like they provide the complete education regarding how to maintain their um, blood glucose levels and so on and other major role which is played by the community pharmacist are the med check so med check is a service which is provided by the community pharmacist in australia like they check all the medications the patient uh, they are taking like they go quickly through all the medications and they will discuss with each medication and in case if there are any issues related to the medication, then they will let the patient know as well as they will send a letter to the doctor, like the patient has so-and-so issues, it should be rectified. So med check is nothing but it is a quick review of the medications, which is done by the pharmacist uh, and it is done within the pharmacy. And there is another major role which is played by the community pharmacist is known as a performing the home medication reviews and residential medication reviews okay. so all the pharmacists are not allowed to do uh, this service only accredited pharmacists who are known as the consultant pharmacists are allowed to do the home medication reviews or the residential um, medication reviews like in aged care patients so they will go and perform the medication reviews regarding the consultation consultant pharmacists or how to get this accreditation to perform the uh, hmrs and rmmrs so that i will explain you in a separate video okay but these are the main roles which are played by the community pharmacist in australia okay and all the community pharmacists in australia they are uh, associated with either pharmacy guild of australia or with the pharmaceutical society of australia they, they should be a member with either the pharmacy guild or with the pharmaceutical society of australia so these are the bodies where which supports the community pharmacist okay, and they help a lot uh, in performing their into maintaining or uh, updating their cpd points and so on okay. and there are a lot of events which will be going on with the guild as well as the pharmaceutical society of australia so this is the guild homepage and this is the pharmaceutical society of australia homepage and so the second type or the next type of the pharmacist are the hospital pharmacist so hospital pharmacists in australia are like just we can say that only hardly around 15 to 20 percent of the pharmacists will be working in the hospital but major like around 80 percent of the pharmacists will be working in the community so the reason here is uh, the chances of getting a position in the hospitals is uh, a bit difficult when compared to com uh, community community pharmacies and even in hospital uh, pharmacies like there are two major roles so one is the dispensary pharmacy like the pharmacists they are mainly involved in dispensaries so their major role is uh, to dispense the medication and make sure that uh, all the medications are supplied well to the hospital patients that is to the inpatients and also they do some uh, dispensing for the outpatients as well and the second most important one is the clinical pharmacist so this is the role where most of the PharmD students are interested in because as in PharmD for the six years or in some countries it is five years so they are mainly uh, PharmD curriculum is designed to lies like or it is mainly designed to towards the clinical side 
Okay, so right from the beginning of the year three of Form D, all the students they will be going to their uh, hospital rotations. They will be going to the uh, wards and they will be seeing the patients up over there. Okay, so if some of you are interested in working as a clinical pharmacist, so here there are different roles that I have uh, listed. What the clinical pharmacist they do here in Australia. So the first one is the general ward pharmacist. So these are the pharmacists, like they are considered as the versatile one, like they need to have a knowledge on all the uh, conditions. Okay, So like the general ward where it is not a specified one. Okay? So the patients, they may get admitted with any sort of the problem, any sort of the issues, then immediately the ward pharmacist that will tell them as a ward pharmacist, so that ward pharmacist should go and review the patient, should go and check the medications. So should uh, the pharmacist should make sure that all the medications which are charted by the doctor, they are as per the guidelines. Okay? And all the doses which are uh, charted by the doctor are according to the guidelines or according to the Australian medication handbook. And they also need to check if there are any issues, if there are any drug interactions or any other problems. So everything that the pharmacist need to check and then the pharmacist need to sign on the chart. Okay. So here in uh, hospitals, in Australian hospitals, the pharmacists, they have a complete authority. So they will be given a complete authority so that like in case when once the doctors, they chart any medication to the patient, then without pharmacist approval, without pharmacist signature, the nurses, they cannot administer the medication to the patient. So at first, it should be screened by the pharmacist. So what will be the new medication or what will be the current medication that the doctors, they chart to the patient? So at first, it should be screened by the pharmacist. Then only the nurses are allowed to give the medication to the patient. And apart from the general role of the pharmacist, there are specialized roles. So one is the oncology pharmacist who will be responsible in the cancer uh, specialist or who is the cancer specialist or the renal specialist or the nephrology pharmacist okay, or the cardiology pharmacist. So they are mainly uh, involved in the cardiac, uh, in the cardiology ward okay, and the emergency pharmacist. So it is a most important and the leading uh, role nowadays in Australia. So we are focusing more towards the emergency uh, pharmacist and also trying to increase the roles of emergency pharmacists in Australia. Okay. And ICU pharmacists who are uh, in charge for the uh, ICU, intensive care unit, and respiratory pharmacists, uh, pharmacists who are involved in the surgical wards and the pain management. And we also have a special type known as the hospital in home, which will tell it as the HIT. Okay. So where the patients will be treated in the home, but they are still as a hospital patients. Okay. So regarding this hit, I will explain you uh, separately in a different video. Okay. And also we have other pharmacists like the pharmacists who are involved in the gastro ward and pharmacists specialized in performing the therapeutic drug monitoring, that is TDM, and pharmacists specialized in the TPN, that is the total parenteral nutrition. And also there will be a role for education and research pharmacist. So all these roles that I mentioned here, like oncology pharmacist, renal, cardiology, emergency, ICU, um, as well as respiratory, gastro, performing the therapeutic drug monitoring, education and research. So all these are known as the specialized roles in hospital. Okay. So like in each specialty, like in the uh, cardiology specialty or in oncology specialty, like only there will be uh, one or two pharmacists will be there. Okay. And those two pharmacists will be looking over the complete cardiology ward and they are highly specialized in the cardiology or they will be highly specialized in psychiatry, specialized in respiratory. Okay. So those are the specialist roles or the high grade roles which will be given to the pharmacist. Okay. So these are the few um, roles of the pharmacist that are performed in the hospitals in Australia, guys. And all the hospital pharmacists are associated with a body known as the SHPA. So SHPA stands for the Society of Hospital Pharmacists in Australia. So all the hospital pharmacists, they will be a, one of the members of the SHPA. So regarding the SHPA, like you can uh, just Google and you will get a lot of information, like it provides um, a lot of research activities and CPD activities for the pharmacist. Okay. And uh, also SHPA has got their own journal, 
like if you uh, are interested to publish any articles in the journal, then SHPA journal is also one of the best platforms. So it supports the hospital pharmacist. Like in the previous slides, I mentioned like uh, Guild, the Pharmacy Guild of Australia, as well as the Pharmaceutical Society of Australia. So those two are uh, the association bodies which supports the community pharmacist, whereas SHPA is the association body which supports the hospital pharmacist. And then the next type, uh, so far we have seen about the community pharmacist, and then we have seen about the uh, hospital pharmacist. And then there is a special role of pharmacist known as the clinical trial pharmacist. So this clinical trial pharmacist, they are mainly involved with the industries, so pharmaceutical industries, like especially um, the CROs, the clinical research organizations. And in CROs, there will be a special role known as CRO pharmacist. Okay? So it means that in order to, like we know that uh, CRO role can be done by anyone. They need not to be a pharmacist okay, in order to work as a clinical research organizations in any of the CROs. So anyone can do, like those who have the basic uh, BSc degree can enter into that field. But in case, if you are a registered pharmacist, okay, and if you are interested to go in the clinical trials, and if you um, want to work as a CRO pharmacist, then your grade or your position will be at a higher rank when compared to those who have just the normal BSc degrees. Okay, so. This clinical trial pharmacist, they play a major role, like they will be involved wherever the clinical trials will be going on. And even in the hospitals, there will be a special roles like clinical trial pharmacist in the hospitals. So even in the hospitals, they will hire the clinical trial pharmacist. So this pharmacist will be looking after the, all the clinical trial activities which are going in the hospitals. The same goes in the any of the industries as well. Okay. And then the next type of the pharmacist role is industrial pharmacist. Again, industrial pharmacists also play a major role, but their main role is in the industries to work in the pharmaceutical industries in Australia. But there is a challenge here. Uh, if you are interested to move to Australia as an industrial pharmacist, the problem here is regarding getting the permanent residency, the visa. So getting a visa on based on the industrial pharmacy is a bit challenging. So you cannot get uh, direct uh, PR, permanent residency in Australia. So for that, if you come through the pharmacist pathway, like by clearing the pharmacist licensing examination, and after clearing the licensing examination, when once you become a completely registered pharmacist, and then if you are interested and if you want to move towards the industry, then you will have a very good scope in the industries. Okay. Like the main thing that they look here in Australia is either if you are going to uh, in the clinical trials or in the clinical research, okay, or even if you are uh, interested to go in the industrial side. Okay. So if you are a registered pharmacist, okay, then your salary will be higher when compared to the other persons. Okay. So this is one of the uh, main things. So if you want to migrate, so first you need to get registered in the uh, with the Pharmacy Board of Australia, okay? because that is the easy way to migrate to Australia. Um, nowadays, they are giving visas immediately to those who have cleared this uh, CAPS examination and so on, okay? because the healthcare professionals are in high demand in Australia. Then if you want to migrate only as an industrial pharmacist, then it will be a bit uh, challenging task. So the best pathway is to migrate to Australia as a by clearing your licensing examination. That is the first part of the licensing examination is the CAPS examination. Okay. So at Eli Expertise, guys, uh, we are providing the complete uh, ed, uh, like training for the CAPS examination, which is the first part of your licensing examination. Okay. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching uh, our video. And please visit our website. So our website is at www.elitexpertise.com.au and if you have any questions regarding your uh, preparation for the examination and so on so just you can send a message to in our website and one of our team members will contact you or you can just whatsapp or you can make a direct call so one of the, our team members will contact you immediately okay so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video and thank you